So today in this um, video, I'd like to show you something um, new, which is a what you call velvet disease. Uh, most people know it as sort of a shiny, shimmering um, type uh, presentation on the skin of fish. Fish might be lethargic, uh, having respiratory difficulty, being off feed, clamped fins, and and the sort. Pretty non-specific clinical signs of disease. Um, so, but what does it actually look like down a microscope, and why is it important to know um, what you what parasite you're dealing with? So this one is from a skin scraping of a Siamese fine fish. Um, you can see here, this is a blue fish, so um, you can't quite see the blue coloration because the light is coming through from behind the, the slide, so it shows up as sort of black or dark, um, this pigment on the skin. Um, here we've got the unpigmented uh, host cells, which sort of look uh, a bit like a stained glass window. Um, and have a look here, we've got these golden type structures. Uh, we've got small ones and larger ones. So it's just to the middle of the screen now, we've got the golden coloured one. Um, and if we keep moving on, you can see here so we've got a more, more of them fringing um, the surface of that skin scrape. If we travel across, you can see got these little granules there, refractile. Um, can see them better when we remove the condensing lens um, and sort of a golden tinge so that's what gives them the golden shimmering effect when you see them um, on the skin of the fish um, grossly. These are actually the chloroplasts so they can photosynthesize so one of the treatments is to actually keep them in dark and not have light. Um, what else would I like to share with you? Um, I guess the other thing, I guess we're, we're looking at a wet preparation here. Uh, but if we move on, we've got a diff quick stained section. So we'll have a move and have a look at it. What does it look like when we actually apply stains to it? Um, this is quite interesting to have a look at. Um, you can see it makes it a little bit more difficult to visualize um, because they all stain about the same size, but are uh, stained the same color. But here we've got the patch of blue, which is the uh, skin of the fish. If you zoom in and out, you can see here, fringing here on the bottom in the middle. Uh, two at the bottom in a pair, and we've got about five of them here, larger ones in a row. You can see they're much, much larger than the host cell. Uh, the nucleus is probably about twice the size of the uh, host cell, even. Um, what's interesting about these guys is that um, a single treatment of... Um, uh, would not be effective because uh, reinfection is common because of, of the parasite's ability to colonize the intestine. So you might treat them um, and then they might fall or die off the skin surface, uh, but then they might get reinfected because whatever uh, is in the intestines will actually be able to be shed out in its feces and then reinfect other fish in the tank. Um, notice that I don't have a section of a gill here, but it can colonize the gills as well, and this is what, uh, why they uh, show clinical signs of respiratory difficulty. Um, so this being a plant rather than a, a protozoal uh, parasite, um, a cop-based treatment is the treatment of choice rather than formalin. Um, yeah, I think that's all that's, sort of, I guess, interesting and practical to share with you. Um, yeah, so good luck with uh, doing your own microscopic diagnosis of these critters. Thank you.